You know you're in Mexico when... You know you're in Mexico when you sweat for no reason. You have six shots of tequila. You know you're in Mexico when you're having the time of your life. And then you wake up face down next to a keg and Paul Abdul. You can't figure out how much anything costs. Whatever happens in Mexico, you usually end up in jail. My mother uh, was forgetful because she smoked pot, so she'd forget important things like expressions, how to use expressions and how they went. So she would just make them up herself and we would quote her later as adults and look like idiots because no one says it that way. It's like I tell you something, it just goes in one ear. That's it. Never knew there was more to that till I was like 30 years old. You gotta do your chores because early worm eats birds in the sunshine when there's haystacks to be made. That's how you lose needles and get the mad cow. I've never been to Mexico before. This is the first time. I like it a lot. I love it here. The weather's great, the people are beautiful, the food's great. I'm doing great, it's a blast. I'm here with my buddies, all these comics. Yeah, we love each other, so it's fun. My hotel, you guys, is amazing. No joke. There's like a Komodo dragon, just like a, this big lizard just chilling by the pool. Do you know what I mean? But there's signs everywhere that says, do not feed Yoko Ono. So it's like, uh... I, I mean, I live in Los Angeles now, so I feel like I'm kind of in Mexico already. And I love the food. I love the people of being great. I mean, I've been, I'm, I'm very lucky that I've been around the world, but people here are super friendly. Anything you say with that accent sounds wise, even if it's total bullshit. Sometimes the bird flies into the tree, and sometimes it lands. That's like life advice, and it makes no sense. We were in Vegas, and uh, it was all the young girls, Wiz and Bias, and the miniskirts and high heels. And I was like, oh, hey, uh, uh, I didn't have any game. When I was in my 20s and 30s, man, I had game. I used to go up to girls like I was going to commit a crime. Hey, what's your name? What's your number? Can I get you a drink? <laughs> then I hit my 40s, it was like, oh, look at her, she's hot. Ugh. Damn, she's fast. Well, you know, comedy is one of those businesses that you have to kind of dedicate your whole life to. And the advice I would give is, um, if you love it, be ready to make sacrifices. We only get better with stage time, I think. The more you perform, the better you get. Do something else. Get a proper job, get some money in the bank, and then do it. Because uh, it's awful being broke. Do you know how much a coffee is in London? It's about eight quid. That's about like, you know, 12 to 16 dollars. I mean, at that price, you'd be expecting to slurp it from the Queen's navel, wouldn't you? Mind you, at her age, she's probably got a myriad of crevices you could slurp it from. <laughs> All right, I shouldn't have said that, should I? Myriad's a big word, isn't it? Hey, everybody, my name's Ahmed Ahmed. Hey, guys, it's Jordan Pease. To my fans, both of you, I'm in Carvo. Don't miss Nouveau's Stand Up and Deliver. I'm on it. I'm on it with all my best buddies, and everybody's great. We're going to touch each other in the green room right now. I got to go.